everybody, this is Renee with My Toys Make Noise, where we talk about cool cars and big guns. Alright, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you IWI's Tavor. That's right, today is Bullpup Day. Alright, so this is how it comes in the box. Of course, I like to make my firearms a little bit better, so... I'm going to show you what I did to my Tavor. This happens to be the X95 model to make it a little bit better. All right, so in the box, you're going to find a cleaning kit. Obviously, you're going to have your Tavor and this device. Don't know what that's for, but it comes with it. All right, and very first thing that I did when I got my Tavor was I added this EOTech holographic weapon sight. It does come with iron sights front and rear. I'll show you right now. So that's a little tab right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. You pull it up, pops up. Back here, do the same thing. Now, I think that's a little bit high for my liking. So I went this route. We'll put that back to where it came from. All right. So why did I go with the bull pub? Well, one of the reasons why I went with the bull pup is because I already have an AK, I already have an AR, I wanted to try something different. Um, I'll show you where did I put this. Um, I have a Daniel Defense uh, AR pistol, and with all the stuff that's going on right now with the whole brace rule and all that good stuff, um, this was a good option for those people that just don't want to deal with any of that. So this is basically as short as it gets without being an NFA item. The next thing that I switched out on my Tavor was the mag. I wasn't very happy with this design here. Went with Lancer's hybrid polymer with the metal feeding lips. You guys seen my last videos. I've talked a lot of good things about this one. I recommend it. And last but not least, I switched out the muzz brake with the YH and an M. All right, so that's what I did to my Tavor to make it a little bit better. So if you're watching this video, you're probably watching it because either you're really, really, really bored or you're considering buying a Tavor. I hope it's that you're really bored. I'm trying to entertain you here. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so I went ahead and spent the money on the Tavor. I also spent the money on this one right here. This is a Dano Defense DDM4 V7 AR-15 pistol with the 5.56 multi-223 caliber, just like it is here on the Tavor. They both happen to cost right around the same amount of money. So I'm going to say they're on direct competition between the two. So, all right, so enough about the boring stuff. Let's talk about the exciting stuff. You wanting to buy a Tavor. Reason number one, why you would or would not buy the Tavor. You would buy because it's made in Israel and the Israeli government uses this rifle to fight terrorists. Or, reason number one why you don't buy it is because it's not American made. Reason number two why you either buy it or you don't. This rifle has really short barrel up here in the front because the mechanical part of the Tavor is towards this area right here. Think about it as a sports car, alright? That mid-engine Ferrari or McLaren you've been wanting to buy like this gun right here is gonna have the engine in the back. All right, so what that does is it's keeping all the weight over here by your shoulder, your chest area, and then your support hand doesn't get as tired every time the gun goes boom. All right, so that is the reason why you would wanna buy it, okay? Now, why wouldn't you wanna buy this? Well, let's just talk about freak accidents, all right? You got explosions going on right there, right next to your cheek, all right? What if? All right, I'll stop there, just what if, all right? Just think about that for a second. That would be a reason why you wouldn't. Reason number three why you would buy a Tavor. It looks cool, just look at it. Everybody has seen this one in movies, in video games. Right. Some of nicer examples of bull pups can go between three to four thousand dollars. This to work can be bought for the low two thousand dollar range. Now, reason number three why you wouldn't buy it 
you can buy a lot of AR pistols, not a dental dental defense, but you can buy a lot of AR pistols for around six to seven hundred dollar range. All right, another reason why you would want to buy a Tabor is the ammunition that this rifle shoots. It's going to be shooting 556, 223 rounds. There's also a version that shoots 308, and I heard there's a 9mm out there as well. All right, why wouldn't you want to buy it with that type of ammunition? All right, because with an AR pistol, you can buy one that shoots 22 LR rifles, so you can shoot a thousand rounds and only spend 10 bucks to do that. All right, let's keep going. Another reason why you would want to buy the Tabor over an AR pistol is this Tabor is equipped with the 16 inch barrel that starts on this side. All right, so with this particular round, this 223 round, it's meant to travel up to 2,900 feet per second. All right, with that type of velocity, having a 16 inch barrel makes the bullet go straighter. So you're going to have better accuracy. And because it's a 16 inch barrel, the explosion is going off on this side, right by your cheek, like I mentioned in the last clip. All right. Damn, that sounds scary. All right. So because it's going from here to here before it exits the rifle, it's not going to be as loud to people around you, including your ears on this side. All right. This is shorter barrel. So yes, it's going to be louder. Yes, you can always buy a suppressor, but let's just say you didn't have a suppressor. You were coming out of an elevator. And you all of a sudden had to start shooting this. There's a good chance your ears are probably going to hurt a little bit. All right, reason number 120. You don't have to register this as a short barrel rifle. All right, so I hope you guys are super confused by now. For that person that was thinking about buying a Tabor, my recommendation is buy both. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the video for today. Thank you so much for liking my video and for subscribing. You guys are so cool. You're so awesome. Till next time.